What's up, guys? So I'm going to do a... I'm going to read Joe Erotic's uh, campaign for presidency. That's right. From inside the prison walls, Joe is going to run for the president of the United States. And it's hard to read from here, from this, so I'm going to read from my computer. Uh, you guys can go look this up on my community tab. It's on my community tab, probably like 12, 13 posts down on my community tab. So if you want to go read it yourself and not listen to me jumble over some words, probably, then there you go. But here we go. Thank you for your interest in my campaign. Yes, I know I am in federal prison, and you might think this is a joke, but it's not. It is my constitutional right to do this even from here. I have been put here only because of the corrupt corruption in the Department of Justice, three felons that were told how to lie under oath to further their agenda, two corrupt uh, assistant U.S. attorneys, two corrupt FBI agents, and one corrupt federal wildlife agency. As seen by the uh, evidence at the joeerotic.com evidence you can see that they have admitted to per perjury and they even had a plot to kill me before they set me up i hope that you would take the time to educate yourself before you judge me any further than most of you already have because during the campaign in my life i have not and will not judge you that is why I am doing this to finally give you a voice and your freedom back without fear of living in a country that thinks they own you and can tell you how to live your life. The only thing I, I did was put uh, five very old crippled tigers to sleep in the most humane way possible and it was approved by the USDA uh, inspector so it's time to get over it. PETA kills thousands of animals a year. Carol has killed over 226 big cats. And most of you eat some kind of animal every day. So it's time to move past this issue. I am here because I have a wild... Uh, I have a world platform to make these political... The, the politi politician, sorry... Listen to you, your and my concerns and give us some answers for the once. Be, give us answers for once because all they do is lie to all of us. That's so true. Take our hard-earned money, calling it taxes, and give it away to foreign countries without them giving us anything back. Wow, that's 1,000% true. I can't disagree with him on that. Like, cur the freaking, the whole Russia thing that's going on right now. He gave Ukraine like $60 billion, I think, now. There is... Yeah. It's going to be a while. There is a video here that pretty much speaks for itself about my life and what, who I am. There is nothing I am ashamed of. Uh, that I have done in my life, and I am damn sure I will do things in the future that some of you may not like. But you need to remember one very... Um, I think he forgot a word there. Important thing is what I think it's supposed to say, but he missed the important. I don't give a damn what color you are, where you come from, who you sleep with, if you have done drugs in the past or if you have made a mistake and ended up in jail or put the there because someone lied about you, it is time we all put the past in the past and move to move this campaign forward and scare the hell out of these people because you and I want some answers. And on this website, you will see some of my issues I want to address, some of the changes I would like to see. And I want you to submit some of the issues you have so I can make them so I can make them answer your questions. Every one of you will be answered. Everyone will be answered and listened to because of this country it is you not them. We have let them run it from for way too long. I agree one thousand percent. Like 
we're supposed to be in control of our government, not the government's in control of us, and that's what's happening. The government's in control of us, and that's not how it's supposed to be. And look at where we are. This country would not even be as advised as it is now if it was not for private, hardworking people and people with genuine minds like Elon Musk and the ones that invented the internet, cell phone, and so on. This wasn't done by your uh, senators or Congress or women. Or, or women? Okay, that's kind of weird. All they have done is pass laws to take your rights and money away and treat you like you're something beneath them while they live high on their hog riping hog riping okay everyone off and never paying the price for it so put aside that i am i am gay that i am in prison for now and that i used drugs in the past that i had more than one boyfriend at once and that carol carol hates my guts this all has not a thing to do with me being able to be your voice. The best thing you have going right going for you supporting me is that I am using used to fighting my whole life just to get by. I am broke. They have taken everything I ever worked for away and it's time we take this country back. And yes, I have people in mind that I can have can help run the country. A hell of a lot better than they are now. So let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Joe Erotic 2024. So, so part of me says that this is like a publicity stunt. And, and other parts of me say that I agree with a lot of the shit he said in this. Like, uh, I'm kind of shocked that I agree with some of the stuff. Like, the government, our government sucks, guys. I'm sorry. That's the only way to look at it. So I'm, he put that in there. Our government's giving away our money. Yes, all the time. Every day. Our money gets given away by our government. So, yeah, I agree with him. Would I vote for him over Trump? No, not even in a second. But if it's Joe Biden versus Joe Erotic, I'd vote for Joe Erotic over Joe Biden any day. But what do you guys think about him running for president? It's kind of weird, but to each their own, I guess. Maybe I'll run for president. Nah, not going to, but anyways. Bye, guys.